Hello there everyone and welcome back. This is Sashi playing Remnant 2 on Nightmare Difficulty. And here I am um, taking on this Labyrinth Sentinel as a Medic Invader. Just got some light armor here because I notice it's uh, important to having that uh, quick roll. Resonating Heart for the healing over time and more healing efficacy. And the Huntmaster M1 is basically the go-to weapon for me because it has good aim, has good uh, shot velocity and all the rings are focused around um, uh, basically having more health because uh, this boss fight I struggle with a lot. <laughs> I also struggled with a lot on my first playthrough on Veteran and um, here I'll show you a little bit of um, my attempts so the beginning is always easy, know that this is a safe space, but I completely forgot where the safe spaces are, so I had to figure it out uh, once again by trial and error, and uh, a lot of that. Um, I do really enjoy this boss fight, I do think it's a very cool boss design, uh, I like puzzle bosses in general. Uh, if they're not too gimmicky and here it is actually very skill dependent you have to constantly be paying attention to those floating uh, dark orbs you have to be paying attention to your map it requires a lot of spatial awareness uh, the sides of the, um, the cubes also are shifting as you can see because the, sh uh, the, uh, the cubes are having different patterns not always the same this is also a safe spot I discovered second safe spot here actually you're always safe uh, the first one you still have to pay attention but this one is always safe although it doesn't give you a lot of room for uh, moving so basically what I do is moving back and forth on these two plateaus to take down most of the um, um, well how do you call it weak spots I guess the little white uh, rectangles and here you can circle around nicely around this uh, this cube. The medic is helping quite a bit also because because um, I'm so focused on getting those white little thingies. I get hit quite a lot. That's also where the invader comes in with its first um, uh, first skill. I forgot what it's called. Basically allows you to um, dodge automatically upon being hit for a couple of times. Very useful buff. Getting back into this safe zone over here while uh, evading that uh, other ability, that one, that big, big pushing cube, let's say. Sometimes there's situations where you can't really um, avoid that one. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, this one is going pretty well so far, as you can see. Taking my time, taking my time to um, get in the right position. Keep my health topped up um, and taking down those little uh, white cubes. Um, but the thing with this boss fight is no matter how good you are doing, how well you're doing, um, one mistake can be fatal. So the moment you get underneath of those cubes, you just die. The moment you get between the plateaus, you die. There's no. Um, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <clears throat> There's no way to mitigate that damage, as far as I know. So, and as you can see, there's also the other things that can kill you if you don't roll on time, if you don't jump on time, if you don't, um, if you get those orbs in the face too many times, like twice or something in a row, it's already uh, gone for nightmare difficulty. Um, so I think a total, I didn't even record all of my attempts on Nightmare, but I definitely <laughs> did it like more than 50 times, so I think, yeah, 5-0. So here's a little montage, um, <laughs> I really like how the music goes uh, when it's sped up, so I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you later.
So yeah, here I am again. As you can see, that those were quite some attempts, and um, those were not even all of them. Uh, nonetheless, I had a lot of fun with uh, the Labyrinth Sentinel, and um, until I got to this point where I'm basically having a run where I don't die. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, successful run, and as always, I wish you a beautiful day, and peace. <laughs>